Hey guys, welcome to The Cellar. I'm Pete. Uh, today I got a very quick tutorial for you um, on audio syncing in Premiere. We're going to learn how to uh, use Premiere Pro CC, which is this new feature in CC where you're able to actually sync clips right in Premiere uh, audio and video clips. Um, but before we get to that, I want to explain why I'm wearing a mask. Uh, my new trailer for my short film Memorama has just been released. Uh, the film is due out in, I think, probably the end of April, May. Um, and I'm real excited about it. You'll understand the mask if you watch the trailer uh, or if you see the film, but definitely check it out if you get an opportunity. I appreciate the support. Um, now, on to the tutorial. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually undo some of the stuff I did already. I'll just delete these, actually. It's easier. Okay. And I'm going to go through, and I'm going to basically show you how I do this. Now, as you can see here, we're on take eight, and that's the take right here that I have for the audio, and that's the video file right there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my audio file. I'm going to hold command and I'm going to select my video file or vice versa. Um, and then I'm going to either right click or control click and I'm going to scroll down to where it says merge clips. It's going to ask me a few different questions here. You guys should all be familiar with this window if you've used any of the Premiere versions before. We've always been able to merge clips based on in and out points and time code, but now there's a new thing called audio tells you which track channel to check out. It also lets you pick which clip you want to use the audio from, which obviously for me is the WAV file. It also has this little checkbox here to allow you to remove audio from the AV clip, so you'll be given just the straight clip with the proper video and proper audio. However, for the workflow that I'm using, I don't particularly like that, and I will get to that and explain why. Um, but first, let's actually merge the clips, and let's, uh, let's see what's going on. And I'm going to show you actually an error right after this, but first, let's do it the proper way. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these clips. And as you can see, I have a new file here that's the same name, but it now says merged on the side. And if I double click this file, okay, you will see here that there's all black until we get to the actual video part because the audio file is a little longer, so it extends further. And now we have all of the um, stuff synced up here. But let's look exactly what this clip looks like. And the way we're going to do that is I'm going to drag it down to create a new sequence. And here we go in this new sequence, you can actually see the merged clips. And here's the original video file in blue. And here's the original audio file in green. I can mute the two original audio clips so I don't hear it no more. And let me just um, put this where it needs to be. So you can see. And right here, you can see, as you can hear, it is perfectly in sync. And now, for my purposes, as you can see here, let me just undo this. As you can see here, you can see these clips here. Sorry, I'm getting paged at the moment. You can see these clips here are actually the sequences. So I can actually go back in here. You can see I've already muted the files and I have the sequences all lined up the way I need them to be lined up. And the reason I'm using the sequences is I found it easier to do that than to using the merge clips. Because what happens is when I'm using the merged clips only, I'm unable to see if there's anything wrong or if I'm going to be able to slip any of the audio. So I like to create the sequences and keep that there just in case something may be a frame off or it didn't line up properly or I can just see what's going on and where my in and out point should be before I bring it in. So that's personally how I like to do it. Some people may prefer to just stick with the merged clips and just set in and out points in that. Either way, with your workflow is fine. But let's check out um, an error that I found in this new feature and one that might be setting you back if you're trying to do it. So if I delete this merge clip and I actually go to our original file, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set an in and out point. Um, let's not set that one. Let's set an in and out point here. He's checking the window. All right. He looks through, he turns around and even though that's not going to be used and that was just a practice, we're going to use that as our in and out points. Now I'm going to go through the same process that I went through before. I have the video clip selected. I select the proper audio clip. I control or right click, go down to merge clips, and here you're going to see I have the same exact thing, and I'm going to press OK. And it's going to give me a merge clip, and when I put this up, you'll notice right away that there's no black in the beginning like there was before, even though the audio clip started before the video clip. And then it has a few frames, and then bang, we go to black. Now if I bring this to a sequence, you will see exactly what has occurred here. The in and out points that were set it just uses the in out points, but instead of lining it up where it should be in the file, which it sometimes does, I've noticed that a, for whatever reason, a lot of times it will just put the in and out points and the file at the beginning, and this is not properly synced up at all. So I'm not sure why that error occurs, but if you are going to merge clips and you're having an issue, 
just remove the in and out points from the clip that you're merging and there should be no other problem um that's pretty much the only experience i've, I've experienced with it um thanks again for your time this is pete from the seller please check out the uh trailer memorama i'll talk to you soon